morning. What are we gonna have for breakfast today? My flat is such a mess. I'm like embarrassed to show you. <laughs> it's just so messy back there. Today needs to be an organizing day. Oh my God, I can't show you the mess. I'm just gonna move this over here where you can't see it. There we go. Don't wanna know how long that's been there. I'm feeling a bit worse for wear this morning. Wait, let me put you, I'm just gonna put you on this while we have a little chat. There we go. There you are, great, fantastic. I'm feeling really worse for wear today. I need some carbs in my life. I'm gonna make banana pancakes, which I've made quite a few times before, I think, in my vlog. They're like my favorite things to do and I had two brownie bananas, which is like perfect. Oh, I hope I have eggs. If I don't have eggs, that would be the most bum out thing ever because I literally have nothing in my fridge right now because I just got back from Dubai. <gasps> okay, pray for my eggs. Honestly, I literally have nothing in my fridge. Pray, pray for the eggs. Ready? Moment of truth. Oh my gosh, there's two eggs. That's like the perfect amount. Today is my day. I can feel it. Today's Friday. Oh, you almost fell. You're balancing on the top of a water bottle. Professional. Uh, yeah, today is. the lid no big deal today is friday i'm making pancakes gosh where am i today um i am going to go and see des pina today because i really need to sort out my roots i have so many gray hairs it's hilarious what was the other thing i wanted to tell you oh yeah today is an organizing day i have so much to organize in my office i've had so many parcels come in i'll leave the recipe to this by the way down below because i've included it so many times in the vlog but i feel like you'll probably just like immediately stop talking about these bloody pancakes that you have every day i went out last night and i wore this jumpsuit which I put on my stories and I've voted. I take these votes very seriously when you vote on my stories by the way so thank you if you do vote. And I put a vote thing should I keep it or return it and it's like 90% keep. And I was kind of in two minds about this jumpsuit so I was very happy with that. I was like okay I, I'll take 90% keep, I'll keep it. So yeah I wore this last night, I'll put in some stories here and I got so many compliments on it. I'm a little bit in love with it. Maybe I'll do a little dress haul because I've been buying quite a lot of dresses recently and I've got a few parties coming up and I'm going to a few BAFTA thing related things later on this month as well. Okay, right, let's stir up the pancakes. I'm using my Thermomix as always because it's the easiest thing on planet Earth. There we go. <laughs> mm. This is just what I needed. Stodge, no? I wanted to actually show you something because this is my sixth year doing this. I mean, the first like two years I was kind of on and off. This is my sixth year doing this. It's not really an organized thing. Like I know I said I was gonna organize everything today, but I just wanted to show you it anyway. It's a five year diary. Oh my gosh, it's a five year diary. So yeah, I'm starting a new one this year. It just has five sections like this. Oh my gosh, lol. Look at my hand. It's like full of makeup, so I need to take that off. But yeah, it has five sections like this. Every year you just write what you did that day. And then when you get to the end, you can like look and see exactly what you did on the same day like the past four years it's so cool i'll put a link to where i got mine down below and i'm just i'm really excited to do it although i'm like three days behind or something right now sometimes i get like a week behind like last year i would get like a week behind and then i would just need to like sit and do it the whole week basically i can't find my charger for my laptop so we have a bit of an ish anyone found a charger anyone so i was reading this book and I think I was reading a book or listening to a podcast. I can't actually remember which one of the above I was doing because, you know, I'm so intellectual that I just do these things all the time. <laughs> and um, just kidding, I literally listen to like one podcast <laughs> and read one book. <laughs> oh no, actually, oh no, I know what I went. I was listening to the Tim Ferriss show. It's a really old episode um, and it was basically like how to improve your year by reflecting on the last year, basically. And he said, he went through his five minute journal and found themes on what he didn't enjoy that year to kind of like cut down or cut out on. He said to do this big like spider diagram of your life with like every different aspect. So I had like this huge work side of like little, every tiny little thing that like goes into my work life, like even like Instagram.
Instagram stories or like meetings, like literally everything that goes into my work life is on this huge page. And the other side is like more personal stuff. For example, I wanna start having weekends a bit more. I love what I do so much that I actually end up opening my laptop most weekends. I feel like more inspired on weekends, I feel like, because it's, everything's just a bit quieter, but I do know that like taking that time off is like good for the mental brain, if you know what I mean. I basically set out this huge work chart because I want to figure out some other things that I can delegate to free up more time for a passion project I want to do this year. And then I had a huge section for like goals and aspirations for the year. And one section is places I would like to travel to. So I've teamed up with The Telegraph Travel for this video, which is really exciting because I'm going to show you all around their website and they have an amazing, amazing competition, which I actually cannot wait to tell you about because it's such a no-brainer that you have to enter it. Telegraph Travel is the 10th largest travel website in the world and they provide so much inspiration, but in such a concise way that's just so easy to use. So this is their website here and I'm going down to this section. Hold on. Here we go. This is where my inspo is coming from. There are a few places I actually would love to go back to this year and explore more and do more research on and kind of get to know them better. Amsterdam was one of them because I loved going to see the tulip fields. Like that was an out of this world once in a lifetime experience. It was just so, so beautiful. But I was only there for two days. So I'd love to get to know Amsterdam a little bit more and do a little bit more and better research on it. But then they also have types of trips as well. I am definitely not a walking and hiking or cycling kind of girl, but food and wine holidays, yes. It's great to find a place that has so much dedicated, concise information. So I'm planning a few things for, can you take me seriously with my stamps on my hand from my makeup, but I'm planning a few trips this year. Oh, you know what? We're gonna look up, hold on. This is what I want, the Amalfi Coast. I'm dreaming of going back. So let's see. Oh my gosh, how beautiful does that look? Oh, look how beautiful. Oh, yes. Wow. <laughs> where is summer, honestly? Where's it gone? <laughs> Can it come back, please? Oh, that's where we stayed last time. They just have so much on offer. I always bring my laptop with me to the hairdresser. By the way, my hair takes like three hours. I feel like I have a good three hours of doing my proper research for this today. I read that they actually have over 10,000 hotels tried and tested by their editors. Isn't that insane? Including like city breaks, tours, cruises. Okay, here's the best bit. The giveaway brace yourself the telegraph travel are giving away a holiday for four so two separate rooms at a surprise destination which is amazing like beyond one of the most exciting prizes i think i've ever seen so i'm so happy i get to share this with you so what you need to do to enter is p.s this is a total no-brainer you have to enter i'm going to leave the link down below you go to this landing page and you enter your details that's literally it basically all you have to do is describe your dream holiday which is the easiest entry ever but actually you have an extra chance of entering if you post a picture on instagram with a previous holiday and use the hashtag make the world your own and at telegraph travel so please go and enter because this is an insane insane giveaway it's a holiday for four basically which is so exciting so i really hope you enter what time is it now it's 11 oh my gosh i've been on the telegraph so much that i've totally forgot i need to leave in about two minutes got my jeans got my bag got my laptop and everything what else do i want guys shoes mm -hmm. Oh, does anyone know how to get rid of that noise in my cupboard? Because it's horrendous. I feel like I need to use some oil or something. I'm really not good with this kind of stuff. Okay, um, what else do I need? That's it, I just need to change. Be right back. Everyone's doing these five random facts about me tags on Instagram. <laughs> I keep being tagged in them and I'm like, I'm so boring. <laughs> There's no random facts about me. And today I was like, I'm always late. I was going for dinner with my friend the other day and she calls me before and she goes, okay, so how late are you gonna be? <laughs> I was like, mm. and my mum will always tell me like, something's half an hour earlier than it actually is. So then I'm like, bang on time. Anyway, I am one minute late for Despina, so that's fine. Still not on time. My dad always says, if you're not five minutes early, you're late. It's definitely, definitely not spring weather enough for flats without socks. But I was in such a rush that I just ran out the house. I feel like I always come here with really greasy hair. And I wash my hair, not last night, the night before. So it's actually totally fine. So I'm really happy. <laughs> oh, there's been a need to bundle my <laughs> yeah. I'm excited to get my colour done and switch it up. I'm with the master woman. Hi guys, happy new year! <laughs> She's 
might be the cutest, most happy person ever. And I'm gonna dress up my toast twist. I actually love the color so much that we're not actually gonna do that much to the bottom, right? Yeah, yeah not too long. Basically, we're gonna color cute a little bit. This lovely shiny. Okay. And I'm gonna have Cuban Ballingers just on the train, just to blend nicely. Just in the salon, getting my hair done, but looking at Amsterdam, I mean, this is how great Telegraph Travel is. They basically lay everything out for you. So they have hotels, attractions, restaurant, free things to do, which I love. I feel like it always includes like really gorgeous parks and things like that, which is where I love going. Getting there, nightlife, shopping. So basically categorize everything for you and there's even itineraries as well, which is fab. Sebastian now. Having a super speedy blow dry because I've been here for like three and a half hours. Sebastian's <laughs> like, what do you want to do? I was like, whatever you can do ASAP. Thing I vlogged was with Despina, wasn't it? I think we got like my actual reaction by accident on camera. Oh my god, I love you it. look amazing. I love it. I love it too. You're the best. I could cry. <laughs> I'm so happy with my hair. If you saw my stories on Instagram this morning, how curly is my hair? Like that one weird curl, but my hair color is just amazing. Like I can't even recommend to you Despina enough because even though I know she gets so full so quickly, I've never ever love my hair color this much like she just really works serious miracles anyway today is saturday morning i have quite a bit of a task to do in my office i don't know how it just gets so messy so quickly so today is a serious organizing day i'm currently sitting on the floor sorting out a ton of stuff that i've either like had delivered or I used it in a video and then I left it in a bag because I always put like things that I'm using in a video in a bag first <laughs> so I don't forget anything. I actually have two really big bags like this which are going off for a charity auction this week. Um, there's a charity I'm involved with and every year they basically auction off like two huge beauty bags and they raise those with money so that's really cool. So yeah, I have those two going and I just need to like sort all this mess out. I mean like look up there, it's just oh it's a freaking nightmare in here Whew, task of the day let's do this i really don't know how we're gonna do this you know and there's just so much mess that you're like i don't even know where to begin here's what i'm sorting out right now my makeup situation trying to fit my daily makeup in here <laughs> and i still have all of this to sort out woohoo Look at the oh oh there you go stay <laughs> look at that This is the kind of mood I get into when um when everything is clean, you see? I mean that table's still a friggin' nightmare. <laughs> So I'll take what I can get because I actually need to leave the house now, it's like 12. <laughs> so I'm going to do my makeup. <laughs> oh, I tried a lipstick, don't like it. I actually need to remove it. I'm ready now to do my makeup and see, oh, sorry, I just whacked you. And seize the day because it's actually getting really late now and I haven't really done anything today. So I'm using my Laura Mercier um, Radiance Bronze Foundation Primer. I used to use this like back in the day and I just completely forgot about it, but I love it. Like, look how instantly bronze it makes your skin. Hmm, where's my mirror? This door is still messy. <laughs> Don't look in there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you know, Monica and Friends where she has that like one cupboard that's just like a 24 seven mess. That's me with this room. Like this room is a 24 seven mess. Only like this is neat and the rest is like total doom. I'm actually gonna use something new which I'm loving. This YSL Touche Eclat All-in-One Glow Foundation. It's called a foundation but on the website it's kind of labeled as a tinted moisturizer. So I think it sits somewhere in between the two. I love that it has a pump and it's new from them. This brush should I use? Maybe this one. It's just a perfect base for when you want something quick and easy, light. It's like a really good Saturday foundation, actually. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want anything too major on my skin, but it just adds a little bit of coverage. So today, I need to go 
and get my friend Philippa's birthday present. I need to walk Duke, which I still haven't done, but he went on such a long walk with my mum yesterday that he's still asleep. <laughs> I'm gonna try a few new products as well. We can have like a chit chat makeup session. I'm gonna use my Tarte CC under eye, which I always use just a little bit. I don't know why, my under eyes, I think it's cause I've been drinking and I never really drink. I say drinking, I've had like two drinks. <laughs> I mean, not today, but <laughs> generally like this week. But that for me is a lot, <laughs> a lot of alcohol because I don't actually normally drink at all. And I'm using my Lancome Tint Gel Ultra Wear Camouflage Concealer, which I love. I'm going to use this with the same brush. It is really thick stuff, but it will last all day long. I'm really not going to do much makeup today. I'm going to use my Laura Mercier. What is this? This is a Sand Glow Caviar Stick. I've never actually tried these before. This is a first impression. I love the By Terry Ombre Black Star, but I feel like these are slightly less pigmented so they might be better for daytime i'm using this new mascara from by terry which is the lash expert mascara and you can actually twist the brush to make it smaller so you get like thicker fuller lashes i actually like having the brush like fully extended if you wanted a really dramatic look you twist the brush from the bottom and it just shrinks which is really cool and the bristles become more closely packed together this actually is without curling my lashes and look at that, oh my gosh, it's kind of crazy, <laughs> Whoa. wow. I haven't curled my lashes as well, which I probably should. Wow, honestly. Anyway, I'm just about to Instagram a picture. I just remembered that I haven't Instagrammed anything today. Let me Instagram this. Wow, these lashes though. Maybe I don't need to wear eye makeup today with these lashes, seriously. Okay, I'm gonna use my YSL Saharian bronzer a little bit, bronze up my face. I'm literally just going to use some bronzer because I just need some colour, you know? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm a bit pasty, aren't I? Hmm. Oh, by the way, this is really good. I've seen loads of bloggers talk about this. It's the Dolce & Gabbana, the blush, but it's tan, so it's kind of like a cool-toned contour shade. And as you can tell, I've been loving it. It does work really nicely to give you... Ooh, yeah, cheekbone! I'm not sure if this is going to... Yeah, okay. Oh, there's something new I want to try that I left out and I completely forgot. It's these Hourglass. I literally haven't even taken them out of the box. Hourglass Vanish Flash Highlighting Stick. There are five shades. Oh, oh there we go. Okay, let's see. Ooh, snazzy. Okay, what one shall we use? Ooh, okay. Um, let's try What's this shade. Ooh, interesting. The little... Uh, triangle, I was gonna say rectangle. Oh wow, that is shiny. Okay, so what shade is this? This is Champagne Flash. To be honest, I'm sold on Champagne Flash because that sounds like the more most of me, or Gold Flash. Let's see. This is, yeah, Gold Flash. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do we think? This is Champagne Flash and this is Gold Flash. I think Gold Flash is more of an evening. I'm gonna try the Champagne. I quite like that it's this triangle situation i think that makes it quite easy i'm literally just gonna swipe this on here hmm. i like the triangle shape that makes a lot of sense to me the triangle okay let's blend this with my fingers it's kind of a cream to powder formula which i much prefer to um wet creams i kind of like the powdery finish i don't want to say anything because i've obviously only used this once but first try these are not bad i really like them i'm definitely going to be putting that straight in the main drawer to try properly and i'll report back and tell you i have makeup everywhere <laughs> can you believe i haven't curled my lashes i got my english beauty so i can show you what it looks like because it's my favorite color that charlotte's ever done mm. there we go mm, i love it evening everyone it is now wednesday evening I've had a very busy worky related day. I've been out and about all day and I don't really have time to change before I go for dinner. But I kind of like my outfit so I'm going to show it to you anyway. But actually the first thing I want to show you is the coolest thing I think I'm wearing. I've had so many compliments on it today. It's this Astrid and Mew ear cuff. Like obviously my ear isn't pierced. It has a little star hanging down. But you literally just 
flip it on and off like that but you can tighten it so it is really secure you literally just slip it on and then tighten it and that's it no ear pierce necessary i love it so much i'm gonna link them down below because they're really affordable and you can like stack them up make it look like you've had loads of piercings anyway i'm wearing my lovely bathrobe <laughs> as I like to call it, this coat. And I have these boots on, which I've worn so much. I love them. Sorry if I seem kind of out of it. I have like a weird headache, but I think it's because I'm hungry. And I actually also wanted to show you this turtleneck that I'm wearing because I love it. I bought it recently. I bought it from Cupcakes and Cashmere and I used to love her blog back in the day. Haven't actually looked at it in a while, but I just thought it was really beautiful. I love the neck and I love the tassels and the wide sleeves as well. And then I'm just gonna wear my Givenchy bag with that as well. But look what I just bought. I ordered this on ASOS. It's the cutest card holder. I need to put some cards in it. I think it fits like maybe one, two, and then three in here. It's quite a squishy card holder. Normally my ones are quite hard, but I just love the cat. Oh, it's the sweetest. So tonight I am going to meet my friend Natasha for dinner. You've definitely seen her in vlogs before, and we're going to pharmacy in Notting Hill, which I'm just walking to now, but um, she told me she recently went vegan, so I'm interested to hear her like vegan report because she used to eat meat quite a lot like me and fish she pr pretty much ate everything um beforehand so i want to hear her her thoughts on going vegan what i love about these menus is when it has a code like gluten-free vegan raw so i ordered the middle eastern bowl and the vegan mac and cheese i don't really know how they do the cheese i think it's rice or cashew nuts or something mac and cheese <laughs> I was just like, should I take my hands away? <laughs> and the artichoke pizzetta is here. Can I film you? Can I film your impressions? It's This is a starter size, by the way, which is kind of crazy. I can't eat this because it's gluten, but you go. Ready? <laughs> Make everyone jealous. It looks unreal, but where's the artichoke? Is it like blended on top? But also it's vegan cheese. Yeah, but what even is vegan cheese? I don't even know. Macadamia nuts in this shop. Macadamia nuts, interesting. Okay, nice. The inspection of the really? vegan cheese. Is it good? Okay, I'm trying my mac and cheese now. Hold on. Oh, yes. This is brown rice pasta. I feel like I could make a montage of us in different restaurants. Yeah, going, mm -hmm. going Middle Eastern bowl. Wow, look at these sweet potato falafels. Okay, pour the sauce. Natasha's like, shall I pour the sauce? Shall I? Oh, wow. That looks really good. What was that, the Asian one? Yeah. I have FOMO now. That looks so good. And obviously we got fries with a side of fries. I just got home after dinner with Natasha and I am taking off my shoes and going to bed. I feel like this vlog's already super long. Oh, I actually really need to shower as well. That's gonna be it for this video. Stay tuned for my next video because it's gonna be a house tour. Can't believe I haven't done one and I've been here for so long already. But that's coming next and I will see you then. Mwah. Bye.